Okay, hello guys, time for another YDNA short. Now, uh, now we're going to look at another uh, clade that's very interesting to me as a European because this clade, it, the, the men of this clade determined the languages of Europe uh, and much more broadly and they, they brought various technologies which revolutionized life in Europe like the wheel and advanced metallurgy. Uh, so it is, of course, um, R that I'm talking about, and it's also Q, uh, the clade of the Amerindians, uh, because we're going to focus on the northern branch of P, and then I'll go on in a later video to talk about R1A and R1B and their dispersals. Here I'm just talking about R2 and Q, because the map will get very cluttered, the map's uh, rather full as it is. So we start off talking about uh, P, that is P asterisk, so the ancestor of all P, and there's a bit of a dispute about where it arose. Uh, because of its precedence in Southeast Asia, uh, some have suggested that it arose there, uh, but it's also found in the region just north of India. It's found in the Nepalese and it's found in some Indian populations. So whether it arose um, in the region uh, near the clade that it branched off uh, from, in the Indian, in the west of the Indian subcontinent, or whether it actually began in maritime Southeast Asia, uh, is is still somewhat of a question. But you can see it either travelled from uh, the northwest of India to Southeast Asia, or from Southeast Asia back to uh, the land that had been ancestral um, in northwest India. So it formed in the in the Indian subcontinent or in Southeast Asia, uh, and then there is a branch called P1. Now the branch called P1 is the one that's found in in the Nepalese, in various Indians. Uh, this this is a so this is a northern branch, and this branch moves even further north. Uh, in 32,000 32, before the present, it's found in the Yana River complex in East Siberia, in Russia, um, so it had already migrated there, and that's the earliest known Arctic habitation of humans, uh, so it's pretty hardy stock. Uh, the other portion of the stock, um, it, it derived, it was derived, uh, diverged from, from Ancestral P around 34,000, so by 32,000 it already travelled to the far northeast. It also travels to the northwest, and that's the, that's the band, that's the the uh, particular group of individuals that we're interested in, because then in Central Asia, uh, it, it becomes various other lineages. Uh, that's R and Q diverges there. You can see the migrations of Q marked here. So by 32,000 uh, years before the present time, uh, R and Q have both split off from this northern branch of P, northwestern branch of P, I should say. Um, and Q, you can see here, travels throughout the Amerindian uh, territories, throughout the Americas. Uh, it also travels uh, as a minor clade alongside uh, part of the, the cultures that form the Indo-Europeans. So that's what's marked uh, to the southwest. And then you can see it moves into the northwest. It's still dominant all throughout the, the furthest northern reaches of Eurasia. Uh, R, R then travels back, again, back to the Indian subcontinent, where it becomes, this is one branch of R. So R1, the ancestors of R1A and R1B are still living here in Central Asia at this point. But R2 uh, is the first to divide off, and R2 moves uh, down to the south uh, and into the Indus region. Uh, there it founds, it later is to found the Indus civilization over the the sort of uh, Lamo Dravidian peoples it's conquered there, and as the Aryans move in, it's pushed out east. Whether it whether it migrated east earlier or not, you can see I've marked the migration here. So, at some point, it travels to the east of India, where, it, where it's now dominant. Right. So that's uh, that's Northern P, uh, R two and Q. Next video will be R one A and R one B. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.